hello welcome again Deepin inspiration hub here so if you've been following my channel and you see that i've put out a lot of setup guides on how to run your ethia checker node so i put up a first guide on how to run this on windows and there is also the possibility to run this on a vps so been at a windows based vps or been at a linux based vps and um, all these tutorials are available there is also a fourth option where you can um, run your node with a with a company which is called a nas or a node as a service provider so what this technically means is that you delegate your license to a company to take care of anything that has to do with your node right and then um at the end of the day um, like I said, what you would use in terms of running this at home, running this with a VPS, running this with a NAS, boils down to you. So it's a bit hard to make specific recommendations and because we all have different needs, right? And we all have different budgets, but that's why I thought it would be a good idea to have sort of a go through all the steps with you and what, it, what are the pros and what are the cons. So I might not have covered every advantage and I might not have covered any disadvantage as well. But these are the quick ones that occurred to me that I would reflect with you. And um, also very important, these are my personal comparisons. So these are not anything from ATR. This is what the research I have done myself um, to come up with these pros and cons. Now to begin with, we're going to start with running your node on a Windows PC. So here, the assumption by running this on a Windows PC is that you have a PC that is running every time. So if you have a PC at home and um, that is constantly on, then um, you could choose this option because it comes at it comes with no extra added cost. So if you do not have a PC um, that is running all the time and you have a PC dedicated to the Athia checker node, then of course um, this is a bit different because you need to purchase a PC for that purpose. If you already have a PC for that purpose, that's fine. But then you also have to consider that you, it would come with an added energy cost, right? So internet i presume you already have at home anyway so that would not be anything special and then the ethiatric node doesn't take that much and um, that much internet capacity so i do not expect you to have um, any change in terms of your internet speed so this comes at no extra cost um, if you have already a pc that is running the entire time but of course if you are dedicating a pc to this then you need to consider the fact that you would have additional energy cost now amongst all the um operating systems that are available being it linux right we all know that windows is a very nice user interface where you basically can click and stuff like that which makes it a bit easier to do so that's the pro um, in terms of running this on a windows pc at home you have no extra cost um, and also the interface is very very friendly now the disadvantage is that um it's your responsibility in this way to make sure that your hardware is up and running so the reason why I've still not uploaded a video on the running the node on the Mac OS using a virtual box is because I, I had some issues that my my Mac PC goes on screensaver and then I lose connection and maybe it goes on standby and I lose connectivity and all these would affect your results if you're doing this eventually, right? So if you're running this on your own PC, you need to ensure that your, your hardware is up and running, not just the hardware, you also need to ensure that you have a stable internet connection. If your device is losing internet connectivity periodically, then um, this is not going to be a good idea for you. So if you know that your internet service at home is not stable, then I wouldn't recommend this option because any disconnection or any connectivity issues that you might have at home and um, in the sense that a checkout node will not be able to work what affects your results right so all your rewards so what it means is that if you are going with the running at the home ensure that you're, you're constantly monitoring and um, your hardware that it's up and running that the checkout node is operating all the time and then here as well you own full responsibility for managing these nodes right and then if you have any failure to take care of these would lead to you not having rewards now um the second option is also a slightly different option a bit similar to what we have above in the sense that you have um you are delegating or you are buying a resource from a company so a vps company so this vps means virtual private server so instead of buying or instead of using your pc at home to install a checker node which is running on windows you are technically buying a resource so you, you can think of it like you're buying a pc from another company and hosting the PC with them, right? So you're gonna get a PC or you're gonna get a server that's the right word, which is running on Windows, right? And then you can do every operations that you wanna do. So the advantage would be that um, it's a Windows, we all know Windows is a friendly user interface. Um, the delegation of the hardware resources is a huge pro because um, the VPS company, if it's a reputable company, ensures that 
your 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 hardware is up and running so if you choose a very very cheap um vps company then you're gonna have issues with maybe the server being down maybe internet connection internet connectivity being down and stuff like that but so long as your vps company provider is reliable um, the delegation of the hardware resources is a huge pro because you don't need to take out this. It's not your headache to see, oh, is the PC up and running? This is going to be running the entire time so long as the VPS company is reputable. Now, on the other hand side, um, it doesn't come for free. I mean, if you're delegating, if you're delegating your hardware resources to a company, then you're going to have to pay monthly fees for this. So the, the fees vary from companies to companies. Um, you would have to find out which which one fits you better. So I know um, that there are other companies like, for instance, um, Ionos. So this was not part of the um, recommendations from Athia, but they have a they have. So in, I'm in Germany, so it's a bit different. I know that they I could actually run uh, my Linus node for about two dollars or sorry two euros a month. Unfortunately, I checked this for US and the price was not the same. So you can also check to see um, if you have, you would find other companies that would um, provide you a cheaper service. But here, please ensure that the company that you are using is reputable. So I'm using Digital Ocean as well because I know they are very good, right? And then you can go with this option. So, so long as your VPS company is a reputable one, um, you shouldn't have any problem with running the hardware but you need to pay monthly for this VPS subscription. So it could range from, let's say $4 all the way to $50 or so, depending on the company that you are running with. And um, even if you delegate the hardware resources to the company, it's also your full responsibility to manage the checker node. So it's not a plug and play. You need to um, come in each time to see that the checker node is running, but mostly if the, I mean, the, the software is pretty stable, that if everything is correctly installed and stuff like that, you should not have any issues running the checker node, but the, you own the full responsibility there, right? To ensure that the checker node is running. Um, if there are any updates, which I do not think it's going to happen that frequently, you need to make sure that you are updating the software as well. So you take full responsibility there to make sure that the checker node is up and running. Now, um, the favorite and the least favorite option at the same time um, is running on the Linux VPS server. So here, um, I mean, Linux is relatively cheaper in terms of the resource. So if you take the same resource of hardware, you would get a cheaper price running it on the Linux um, VPS than running on the Windows VPS. Why? Because for instance, Linux VPS can be running on Ubuntu. I mean, Ubuntu, you don't need any license to run Ubuntu. If you're running a Windows VPS, you need to, be, so I, I tried a few options and then you need to pay periodically for the license, the Windows license that you're using. So that means that for the same resource, um, you would get a cheaper price running on a Linux VPS um, than running on a Windows VPS. And we also know that Linux is a pretty light operating system, right? So in terms of resource efficiency, um, this runs very smoothly, right? Because there is no, I mean, in most of the cases, for instance, if you're running Ubuntu server, it's a command line, right? So there's no user interface that would take a lot of resource from the RAM or from the CPU, stuff like that. Now here as well, just like running on a Windows VPS, um, the, the pro is that you are delegating the hardware requirements to a company, right? So it's not your job to uh, make sure that the PC is up and running or the server is up and running. So long as a company is a reputable company, um, you should be able to work this out with them. And then here as well is the responsibility of the company to ensure that the server is up and running. Now I put a, um, I will put my recommendation or my referral link to the Guitar Ocean in the comment section. Um, I would run, I would, I would suggest, I think these were also, yeah, the guitar was also part of the recommended VPS operators from Ethia. Um, you can use my referral link um, to sign up with them. So you would get $200 free credits for the first two months, right? So this is why I'm, I'm recommending, or oh, I'm talking about the guitar lotion now. And because the $200 credit that you would receive would give you the chance to be able to test things out for free, at least for the first um, two months. I checked this yesterday and this was valid. So if you're interested in this, um, use my referral link down there to sign up with Digital Ocean and um, test this out because you wouldn't pay for the first two months, which I think it's a very good deal, right? And um, for you to have an idea of how fast the speed the speed of the server is and stuff like that. Um, you're not bound to use Digital Ocean, like I said. Um, this is just a recommendation from me because I saw that they give you free credits for two months that you don't have to pay for. Now, the con with Linux um, as a whole is that, so Linux, if you're running on a server, for instance, Ubuntu server, there is no mouse there, guys. Um, everything happens 
on a command line so you would need to learn a little bit about linux so i am personally also a novice with linux i'm doing a lot of um, research and learning in the time now and um, to be able to help people out who will be having problems running their node on a linux server um, I've, I've come up or I've learned a few things that I think a few commands and um, approaches that I think are very useful um, for people who would be going on the Linux approach um, because you don't need to learn everything about Linux. You don't need to learn all the commands that are available for Linux because you're going to go crazy if you are not in the field. Um, if you're interested in this, this is uh, personally, I'm really learning a lot um, running on the VPS, running on Linux because I'm learning all the commands that I need. Like I said, I'm learning the commands that I need because there are a few commands that are going to help you to be able to manage your, your node on the Linux operating system. For instance, and when I installed my node the first time, so I knew that when you press Ctrl or D, you minimize the screen. And I'm like, ooh, now I minimize the screen. How do I go back into the application? So this was not in the, at least in the blog post um, or in the ATH checker node um, tutorial that they made. So I needed to find out a way to be able to go, get back into the application. If for any reason my server breaks down and I have to restart the the node on the Linux server, how do I restart the application? So this, for instance, was now available in the guide, and this is why I did a lot of reading and um, trying to find out um, how you can do this. I'm going to push out a tutorial um, soon, and um, so those who are running on Linux-based operating system, um, don't feel left out. Um, you do not have a user interface like the Windows guys, um, but you do not also need to learn everything about Linux. There are certain specific commands um, that if you put in your baguette, it's going to help you. So I'm going to do a video dedicated to Linux. And I know that a lot of people are also having problems um, setting up their Linux um, checker node on a VPS, right? So I'm going to, I got you covered, guys. I'm going to do a video where we're going to go through. I'm going to create some some problems myself, right? And I'm going to go through with you and to teach you how to, how to solve this. So there's a learning curve um, with Linux, this you can't avoid, right? Um, but also there is a monthly cost also for the VPS subscription. So it could be relatively cheaper compared to Windows, but you would need to pay for the monthly subscription anyway. And then here as well, you take full responsibility for the managing the checker node. So the company that you're running the Linux and VPS on, it's not, it's not your responsibility to make ensure that your checker node software is running and this is your responsibility. Their responsibility is to make sure that the hardware resource that is provided to you is up and running. So this is also something that you have to take note of if you are running on a VPS or on a Linux based VPS. Now, um, the final option, um, which is called the nodes, uh, node as a service provider. And um, the concept here is that you basically delegate your license to a company to run this for you. So there are a lot of companies, I think four or five that um, the Athia community or the Athia team has recommended. So I did a tutorial as, as well on how to run this with one of them, for instance, which is called EaseFlow. Now here the pro is that it's, it's the most comfortable option to be honest with you guys. I haven't seen how the other companies um, do the installation or allow the setting up of the checker node. But I did this for EaseFlow and it's, I mean, in a few clicks, you are done, right? You don't need to hassle about, oh, is my checker node online? Um, do I have the right updates? Is everything up and running? Do I have internet connectivity and stuff like that? This is the headache of the company. So this is the, net, the headache of the NAS company. So here you are not only delegating your hardware resources to them, you are also delegating the, res the full responsibility of the checker node to them. So it's their responsibility to make sure that the node is up and running and it's their responsibility to also make sure that the hardware is also up and running. So this is honestly without doubt. And I think everybody's going to accept this, that it's the most comfortable option. I mean, you don't need to give yourself any headache. So I saw that a lot of people are having problems setting their device up and stuff like that. Um, and someone put in the Discord community that why, why are people struggling so much with their setup when they can use a NAS, right? Um, it's the most comfortable option, right? But it also comes with um, other cons, right? So for instance, like I said, um, in terms of Pro, it's most comfortable. The node setup is very easy. In a few clicks, you are done. If you're interested, you can check. Uh, I uploaded a video on how to do this with the EaseFlow guys. The setup process is so simple, right? And this is what makes it very good. You delegate the hardware resources and here it's very, very important that you are careful in selecting which company you're going to delegate this to. So I would stick to 
the recommendations from NAS, I'm sorry, from Athia, right? I'm currently doing this with, with Easflow. I find the process to be very simple and very smooth. And so now I've not had any problem in my note. There's not a specific recommendation. The thing is that um, Easflow note starts at a price of about $20 a month, right? So I think I got to know that if you are doing this for, for instance, one year or six months or so, there are some discounts that they add on top of it, right? But you just put in your, in your mind that you're starting somewhere around 20 to, let's say $15 a month uh, for delegating this. So that is the con here. It might be the most expensive, sorry, the most expensive um, subscription cost. So just to give you a perspective about this, if you're running this on your personal computer at home, you don't pay anything. If you're running this on a Windows based um, VPS, you might be paying about, I don't know, $10 a month, $8 a month. I don't know. If you're running this on a Linux based VPS, and like I said, for instance, I'm, I have um, some Linux VPS that are running on IONOS server and they are paying like, honestly, I'm paying really $2 a month, uh, two euros a month, which is so cheap, right? Um, in contrast to when you're running this on a NAS, um, as a node and service provider, you're going to be paying around 15 to $20 a month, right? So it's, it's, it might come up as the most expensive model, right? Because of how much you would need to pay. So currently I do not know, um, how much the other service providers are going to charge, right? Um, so I can't do, that's why I didn't put there that it is the most expensive model. I just put that it might be because I do not know what prices that the other people are taking. So if you really want comfort and you can, you, you, you are ready to pay, then that would be the easiest option because it's a hassle-free method. But um, if you would like to, or if you you know, you do not know, for instance, how much um, you're going to be getting from your checker notes. So currently, I think um, a lot of people are asking how much am I going to be earning a month running my checker note. No one knows this yet because um, we're still on testnet. So once we're on mainnet, then this could do, right? And um, if you do not know and you are not very sure what i would so my recommendation would be just my recommendation if you go with a nas or the node as a service provider option and you can do this monthly um at the beginning to have an to have a feel about how much this is going to be right and then you can extend your contract or your subscription with them to a long term um if you for you um you so the money or stuff is not going to be a problem anyway and you're 100 sure that you want to go with nas anyway because you don't want to have any headache with all these linux command checking that your hardware is up and running then i think you can also go for a long-term subscription with them because when, they, when you go for a longer term you get a cheaper um you, you get some discounts on them at least i know this for easflow right so that it helps you um to decide on which way to go so that's it for this video i hope i could give you a bit of a perspective as to helping you to choose how to run your checker node um if you have any questions so i'm pretty sure that i didn't cover all the pros and cons and um, i'll be curious to hear from you as well and what do you think some of the what do you think are some of the pros and cons that i didn't list here and let's 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 get this together guys let's let's really get into this project and 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 support the project as well right thanks a lot for watching this video and um, like this video subscribe to my youtube channel if you have any questions please put us in the in the um, comment section and i'm very happy to help you out i think i've been doing quite a good job trying to attend to every comment that is put there i might not reply immediately but once i get a chance i'm always going to reach out to you right thanks a lot and um, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one bye